Thanks, Pete. We are out here by the ice desk this morning talking about ice. Pauline Lee is in Grand Chute, though, spending the morning with the creator of this beautiful piece of work. Hey, Pauline. That's right. I kind of changed my outfit, too. I've got gloves on, safety goggles, and a nice little apron here. And I'm with the creator of our ice desk. We've got Paul here. Good morning, Paul. Morning. So he's going to show us a little bit of ice carving. He's done ice carving all morning. So earlier in the last segment, he took like a block of ice like this, and then he transformed it into a vase using literally all a chainsaw, right? Right. And that vase is not finished. Right. So, so what do you have to do after that, after you kind of get the shape? Well, once I get it a little bit smoother yet, then it'll get detail kind of so it ends up looking like Waterford crystal. Okay. So I'm all dressed. I'm all ready. Okay. Paul's going to teach me how to do some ice carving. So what are we doing? Okay. Um, what you're going to do is uh, just kind of play with this slab of ice to, to uh, get the feel of what a die grinder will do. Okay. And put some detail in it. You can either do crisscross or, um, or swirls or whatever you want to do. You just kind of drag it along. Okay. okay. When it's running. So I'll kind of do... That's cool. So you're just kind of dragging it, all right? So pressure or no pressure? A little bit. Okay. Yeah. And is this a button right here? Yep. Oh boy. Here goes nothing, okay. guys. I've got 10 fingers. I still have 10 fingers at the moment. <laughs> Keep your fingers, yeah. All but, right. Okay. Uh, See, you're pretty good. Hey, how did I do? <laughs> Woo! Pretty not good. bad. Still yep. at 10 fingers, think, don't worry. I think yours looks better than mine. <laughs> He's just being nice. He's just being nice. Earlier today, he's like, don't worry, I brought extra Band-Aids. But day one, die grinder. Day two, Box 11 ice desk. Yes. In any case. So can you show us a little bit more okay. detailing what else you can do with it? Oh, sure. Um, well, this one I do like... Uh... <laughs> right on the camera. <laughs> Like diamond wow. cut. Oh wow! You can you guys do... still see us? It's a little wet on that. Oh, we can still see you, Pauline. <laughs> That's why you wear those goggles, right? That's right. This is kind of like needlepoint, which is in oh. the detail that's in the edges of the uh, ice desk. Oh, on okay. The deck. Okay. Okay. Wow. And we'll flip it over if I can get it off the board. Oh, it might be frozen. Yeah. Ah, there we go. I think we have time for maybe one more. Okay. Well, actually, I could have shown the other thing. Normally, <laughs> what I would do... Mm -hmm. I actually... Oh, wow. um, what this is called in carpentry is called a bead, uh -huh. and then you detail away from the bead, or, or like a, a lot of bookcases and stuff will have like dental work, which would just look like teeth almost coming down from the bead. And I, I kind of uh, copy a lot of woodworking techniques, actually. So you can literally do anything with ice. Yeah. Ah, incredible. We have one more segment. Who knows what we're going to do next? I might just be carving another example of the ice desk okay. coming up 8 o'clock. Yeah, Pauline, just tell Mike to wipe off the camera lens. That's the only thing, because okay, we really want to see it. I'll give it a head start. There you go. Looking Easy good. Is, kind of. Thanks, okay, Pauline. I'll get a towel. <laughs> yeah, paper towel and napkins over there. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Pauline.